Okay guys, so I'm back at the gym after my PR deadlift day and I'm feeling so drained from that workout. So I tried doing my bench, I tried doing the squats at my warm-up sets and I couldn't even pull the weight off the rack in both cases. So I'm like, you know what, I'm just gonna like take a little break. My lower back is still kind of sore from the deadlift. I'm just gonna do like my bodybuilding workout. So I'm not going to try to go all heavy and try to hit any PRs or do any powerlifting today. I'm just gonna take a break from that deadlift and do some bodybuilding. So it looks like Simon SOS is finally back with the commentary. After all of these months without any commentary, some of you guys have asked for it, so now it's back, so you better appreciate this shit. This might cost me about $100. So I increased the weight a little bit to like 40 pounds because 35 is starting to feel a little bit too light for me when doing the incline press. So I'll be doing one more set and then I'm moving on to some leg press. I can't wait till I show you guys the way I do my tricep extensions. It feels so much better on the triceps. I'm sure a lot of you guys do it that way already. Now you guys know I freaking hate commentary. I hate doing this. But the video sped up anyway, so I don't even have that much time to speak about the workout, even though I do it in the video itself, like right now. Man, I'm actually kind of pissed though, because I don't under... I wonder if, like, I just really trained my... I really tested my nervous system yesterday. Because damn, like, I really burnt out on that workout. And all I did was deadlifts that day. All I did was deadlifts that, that day. I said I was going to do the bodybuilding part, but I didn't. And now I'm just like, shit. I guess it was a good idea that I didn't go all the way. I didn't go all the way in yesterday. It was still a good day, though. I think things will get better. I'm just, I'm fatigued. So while editing this video, I just got a comment from one of you guys at SOS Family about why I don't show my back or my legs during my physique update. To be honest, I totally forget about my legs, like I always do, and I forgot about I forgot about showing you guys my back. But I'll do another physique. I'll probably start doing physique updates once a month. You guys comment that down below if I should. So I only actually showed you guys two of the three sets I did for the leg press. I'm not really a fan of it. it doesn't feel really comfortable on my knees. So I think I might stick to the typical leg press that we usually do but yeah I'm moving on to incline hammer press and damn I am tired and you know one thing one thing that's messed up with this workout is that I've been here for like two hours because I was waiting for Matt but I think Matt got caught up in something so I don't know where he is right now so that's why my energy is just so low but it's it's cool though it's cool I still think I need a break anyway just finish off these incline hammer press do tricep extensions and I'll come back I guess Monday I'll come back on Monday and restart my entire training week. for those of you guys who don't realize this is the workout I was talking about where I couldn't hit the squat or deadlift so after this workout I took a week off okay so it looks like Matt Matt actually got caught up in something I knew it. I had a feeling because he would have texted me saying he was gonna be late but yeah uh, he should be coming through in 10 minutes just gonna finish up these two exercises I think we'll just go get something to eat. So as of late, I've actually been playing around with the idea of bulking up to like 190, 200 pounds. Just to see how I would look. But at the same time, I'm just like, I don't know if I want to put in that much work for something I don't actually care about. My goal has always been 170, not 200 pounds. And the only reason why I would want to bulk to 200 pounds would either be for like making videos just to show you guys, to entertain you guys. Or if I really want to be super lean at 170 after like a, a, a crazy cut. By the way guys, doing tricep extensions in this way is the absolute best freaking way of doing tricep extensions. I love it so much. Damn, I feel like this is what's really going to bring out my triceps. As some of you guys have been saying, my arms are getting a little bit bigger, my delts are coming in, my chest is coming in. And as you guys always see in these workouts, I'm always doing incline presses. Because I really just want my upper chest to come out, man. By the way, oh my gosh, on Thursday, look out for Thursday's video. The workout I did was crazy. I pretty much did the strength wars. Stay tuned for it, guys. Stay tuned. Okay, so my workout's finally finished. That is my absolute favorite way of doing tricep extensions, by the way. But yeah, Matt should be coming through. I think he's gonna be getting some food soon. So I'll probably go with him, if anything. If not, then it's cool. But yeah, I just wanted to at least do some type of workout instead of just going home and wasting, you know, money coming here. <sighs> it was a pretty chill workout session though. It actually felt like the camera wasn't there for once. I like that. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll talk to y'all next time. Stay blessed. Done.